While many animal studies have found that nicotinamide riboside and nicotinamide mononucleotide can ameliorate age-related disease by increasing NAD levels in different tissues, there is always one disease context that throws a curveball, cancer. In a recent study, nicotinamide mononucleotide was shown to accelerate cancer growth in mice with a type of pancreatic cancer where pro-inflammatory senescent cells drive tumor growth. When mice were injected with 500 milligrams per kilogram body weight of nicotinamide mononucleotide for 13 days, they exhibited significant increases in precancerous and cancerous lesions in the pancreas. So let's talk about this a little more because nicotinamide mononucleotide's effect on accelerating tumor growth was dependent on senescent cells, which can disrupt normal tissue functions and, ironically, also drive the progression of cancer over time as well. This is in spite of the fact that senescence is a program that usually prevents cancer more immediately in the short term. The reason this happens is that when cells become senescent, they can secrete molecules that tend to have the following qualities. They are pro-inflammatory. They're involved in immune activation and evading the immune system. They're involved in growth signaling and also involved in angiogenesis, which plays a role in cancer metastasis. NAD seems to increase this quality of senescent cells, likely because it's being used in terms of energy metabolism. So it's making these senescent cells even more tumorigenic. And while this study only looked at nicotinamide mononucleotide's effect on cancer growth, it's quite possible that nicotinamide riboside may show similar results in this very, very specific context, which is a type of cancer where pro-inflammatory senescent cells drive tumor growth. That does not mean that nicotinamide mononucleotide or nicotinamide riboside supplementation will cause cancer or even drive tumor progression in other types of cancer. But I will say it would be nice to see long-term animal studies to confirm. I'm sure those are underway.